Okay, so today I'm going to be reacting to Bad Lad's album. I'm, I'm going to take out the ones that have already been released and that most of us have already heard. But if not, you can go check out the whole album. I'll link it in the description. But yeah, today I'm just going to get straight into it. One sec, let me just set the scene. Okay, I thought like nobody really reacts to Bad Lad or, or not that I've seen. I thought this would be like a really good way just to like shout him out a little bit, you know, show my appreciation for it. But anyway, I'm very excited. I haven't heard this yet and it's been out for like an hour and a half. So let's get into it. Yes, this is the bad lad we like. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was fucking insane. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh my god. I really like this hook. Oh, did Chase produce this? Yes. Oh, damn. Chase fucking snapped. Okay, so thoughts on that track? The fucking hook was amazing, and the way he went into his verse and just absolutely killed that. Bad lad, that was fucking sick. That was so good. I actually think he did better than Josiah on that. I'm not saying Josiah like let it down or anything. It's just I thought he was gonna like do some screaming shit or whatever. And he actually kind of kept it calm. Obviously not calm, but like quite angry. But that was sick. Uh, honestly, the mix, the beat, Chase fucking killed it. And Bad Lad just absolutely tore that up. That was really good. Okay, so I'm missing out Treat You and Falling Over because obviously that's already out. I've already heard those, so I can't really give a reaction to that. But the next song is Radar featuring Darkie. Okay, okay, okay. I've been listening to Darkie for like two weeks non-stop now. Like whatever I'm doing, I've just got Darkie on. Bro, okay, I'm f I'm fucking ready for this. Wait, what the fuck? Are they gonna switch it up? Yep, yep. Ooh. This is sick. Signature, signature bad lad vocals. Apparently he likes us. <laughs> 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 
I don't even know what to say. For some reason, I felt like it started a bit slow. I, I'm not trying to, you know, hate or anything. I felt like it started a little bit slow. It just kept going up and down and up and down, you know? I like I like all the screaming vocals and I like the fast flows and stuff. But then it would just slow down and, I don't know, like, it was a bit all over the place. I'm not trying to hate or anything, but I probably will come back to that because, you know, I need to listen to this more, you know, get a bit more of a feel for it. This is my first listen. Damn. The fucking crazy bars and shit and just going off being like so ignorant. I love that shit. Like honestly, I love that shit. That shit's so funny to me. But um yeah, this next track is oh my god. I'm I'm so happy. It's featuring KD and Henshaw. This is called Why Are You So Mad? I'm expecting something big here. Beat go crazy. Don't come out here. Don't come around my boys, yeah. Don't wanna see no tears. I like this already. This beat is fucking hard. God. Come on, Henshaw. <laughs> Ooh. That that was fucking mental like I just got so hyped cuz obviously I've never like heard KD on a beat like that like that hard in some of his tracks He'll do the whole sort of angry flow, you know, he'll rap more angrier, but I've never heard him like on a beat that goes hard as well. You can really like feel the emotion of it. They snapped. That was actually a really sick track. I would have liked it to actually be a bit longer, but honestly, it's fine where it is because obviously it's going to have like a lot of replay value because it's so short. I have nothing to say like Bad Lad killed it. Obviously, Henshaw killed it like always. And then it was a bit different from KD, but it was good like. I actually really like that. Next track we've got is Weeping. We're going to miss out Don't Look At Me because, yes, that is a fucking banger. I'm just going to miss it out because obviously everyone's heard it. And it is produced by Chase. Okay, this is going to be fucking great. I already know this is going to go hard. This beat sounds so good already. Oh my god. This is like got a punk vibe. Oh my god. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. This hook is crazy. Like the distorted vocals, but it's also singing. This is genius, man. This switch. Come on, drop. Oh, fuck. oh man. This is catchy. This is catchy. Yeah. 
Wait, wait, what? What? Little boom bap at the end. Damn. Okay, I fucked with the switch at the end. That was really cool. That was really cool. Standard Henshaw again, like, just kills it. I like it how they're going for a bit more of like a laid back vibe, which obviously fits the beat. It actually sounded really good. I feel like Henshaw could like rap on like any beat, you know, prove that he's versatile and still like come up with a really good fucking verse. Like I said, the distortion on the actual singing vocals from Bad Lad was, was really nice. I actually really like that. I'm impressed. I'm actually really impressed. Okay, so next we have Pain, which is by himself. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Double tracking. Yo, full metal vibes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. I'm crying. <laughs> I feel like I'm just been in a movie. Let's break this down a little bit. Obviously, started off with like the screaming and it was mental, like so many different screams and that fucking, oh, that like grungy voice that, that's so sick, man. I'm falling over. We actually got something similar to this, but not the singing, like that caught me so off guard, but like in a good way, like that, that was so good how it transitioned from the screaming, obviously, then it just smoothly went into the singing. The beat was perfect for it. Honestly, that really, really like it surprised me obviously people will say oh it's just noise anyway we're gonna obviously skip balamori and we're now on to bad lad inside which is by himself again <laughs> what fucking edm Wait, what's going on? Is he gonna switch or what's happening here? Is he gonna rap on this? <laughs> Raving, yep. I get it. It's <laughs> kicking back in. He's going to go on the drop this time. Damn, this is sick. I don't really like rave music. Like, I don't really like kind of like the EDM stuff. I used to, like, 
fucking ages ago. I'm not obviously a massive like fan of stuff like that, but that actually did kind of blow me away, but in like a good way. I don't know how to explain it, like somehow that actually impressed me. Like the way he rode the beat sort of thing, like it came in, I had no clue what was going to happen. But then obviously standard like Bad Lad came in and it just like ripped up the beat. Probably not something I would listen to like every day, but that was decent. That was actually quite decent. Anyway, I've heard Dead That and I've heard Punk. So we're going on to Violin's Freestyle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I just love how sarcastic he is. Wait, he used to do waitress? Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Shout out Love September. But I like it. This is actually quite catchy as well. Okay, so I might have not reacted to that that well, but like, I did like it. Obviously, it's a standard rap track, but that's something I quite like from Bad Lad. Obviously, he does all the screamo stuff, he does the singing, does about everything. But honestly, just a standard like rapping track from him is actually like really nice. It was a freestyle, so credit to him for that. I do like the hook, very catchy. And obviously a catchy hook means replay value. That was actually quite good. I'm going to go on to the next one, which is Chilling With Satan. I'm expecting some screams. It is only a minute long though. Oh my god, trippy beat, okay. Oh my fuck! <laughs> I need to process this. Yes, I got it right. There were screams, but that that fucking blood fuck off. I really like that on a song, like just taking the piss. Like I am uh, quite ignorant myself on some of my tracks. So I love, you know, the little, when the beat pauses and you and you say a little line, you say a little word, you know, just to take the piss, like, that's actually, like, sick. Like, I actually really like that. We are on to the next track, which is Used To Be, featuring Biv. It's actually produced by Biv and Bad Lad. So, uh, it already sounds really good, so I'm actually impressed. Holy shit. Sounds really nice. The mix, man. This is amazing, holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm ready, I'm ready. Wow, holy shit. Oh my god. That actually like blew me away on like how good that was. Obviously, the screaming and the singing put together, I think it's like Bad Lad's sort of speciality, if that makes sense. I always, you know, like listen to artists and I think about what is something they only have in their music. And this definitely is something that like you're only going to find listening to Bad Lad's music, you know. I don't even know how to explain this. Where it just sounded like something out of like a fucking church, you know, like church singing and then just screams. But it was put together so well. Credit to you both there. That was amazing. I'm literally speechless. Like, I, I don't know what to say. He can just do whatever the fuck he wants. And it comes out so well. But anyway, that is my whole take on it. Obviously, I really do fuck with it. Like, I'm not the person to give, like, scores or anything, so I'm not going to do that. But I fuck with it. Like, Bad Lad, you've really, like, outdone yourself. When I think of Bad Lad, I think of, like, singles, like, the Screamo stuff, stuff with Darkie, and then obviously the stuff with Love September. I've never been there for, like, a full, like, project. So this is new to me, listening to him, like, back to back to back. Bad Lad, if you do watch this, hope you do. You've really outdone yourself, like, this is really good. That last track has just left me speechless. Overall, the tracks were hard. It started off hard, and then, sort of, like, throughout the middle, you started getting the singing vocals in, you, you shouted a bit, and tied it together really well with that last track. So, well done, like, that, that shit was so hard. I really hope this does put him on another level. But anyway, I'm gonna shoot my shot, bad lad. If you wanna do a song with me, hit me up. Yeah, that's a joke. I don't think he will see this. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, subscribe. And that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Peace. I might cut your body, no one can stop me. Do it again, then call that a hobby. Sorry, not sorry. Sip my coffee. All them man trying to be like rock.